Welcome back to Bonanza Disc Golf. We are right now sitting at hole seven of Area 51, which is a disc golf course in the Columbus area of Ohio. And I'm gonna be throwing for the first time ever an Innova pig. Yes, this pig is a little bit beat in. I was given it by one of my buddies after I played him in a Bonanza battle, but I've never thrown a pig. This is the pro pig, Ricky Waisaki Tour Series. I've heard that there's a difference between the Ricky and the Bradley Williams Tour Series, but we're gonna be throwing the Ricky pig today on six holes here. I have some discs to maybe compare it to, because I think it's a 3103. Should probably make sure of that. Color Glow Pro Pig, apparently is what this is. 3103. So interesting numbers. I'm interested to see if it actually has one glide, which is the only other disc that I've thrown like that out of the Berg and the Tilt. I think this thing glides more. I'm interested to see what I think, because this is Bag It or Bin It. And if I don't like it, we're putting it in my bin of discs to give away. And if I can't beat par with it, I'm giving it away within the next three days to someone that I find on a disc golf course, even if I say that you should bag it. So let's get on to hole seven. We're gonna play six holes with it. Hopefully that gives me enough time to determine what it's like, because I have some things that we'll compare it to along the way. Off the bat though, the thumb track, I don't know how I feel about it. It honestly kind of fills your hand pretty well on a backhand, don't mind that at all. Forehand, kind of, kind of feels good on a forehand. The thumb track, I kind of like where that sits. I like throwing these like rounder discs, especially because they have a little bit less skip than something like a zone, which I have here to compare it to. Hole seven, we have 276 feet all the way, basically straight here, cutting back in so we could try the big hyzer line. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is maybe a dumb thing to do with this disc, but we're gonna try a big flex forehand over that white bush. If it's as stable as it says it is, should be able to fight back. Let's see what happens. Pretty solid, pretty pretty much or similar to what I would expect. Maybe out of like an ESP but, or ESP zone like I have here, I'll try that. It's a little bit hard to get it so high and so turned with the nose down. That's why that one didn't have the nose down. But that was a pretty good flight. I think the pig would have even maybe been farther. I'm interested. Now we got an actual upshot with the pig so we can see how it works there. All right, I think if I didn't hit that little cabbage there, this thing was gonna be real solid. Maybe turning a little too much though, because that slowing it down definitely helped. I'm gonna try to put this in with the pig because it's more circle two. I'm probably not jump putting this. It's still kind of an upshot range. So we'll see how this works on a little jump putt line. Ooh, just a little too stable. Pretty solid look though overall, honestly. And for reference, this is the buzz. Mm. I keep calling it buzz, it's a zone. So I imagine that before hitting this thing about 275, 300 might not be crazy. No, that is crazy. Cause that lost a lot of steam and still went about 230 feet-ish. Par, we'll take it. All right, this is gonna be super interesting. This is hole number eight, 285 feet. And it looks like the shot lines up for the exact same shot that I tried to throw in the last hole with just a flex forehand with an overstable-ish disc. We are now going into a headwind as you can hear all the wind is behind me. Oh, now you can hear it probably. I do not think that this thing is as crazy overstable, which I don't think anyone said it was, but the numbers 3103 would lead you to believe that, especially the one glide. I don't necessarily know if I believe that. We'll try it out here and see how she goes. Definitely rolled my wrist over on that one. I'm gonna go mark it and throw it again. That way we get a good representation of what the flight might look like because maybe I should have tried to throw it flat. The one thing I'll say is if we ace, we'll count it as a two. Let's make it happen. Much better. That's pretty solid. That's interesting because I didn't try to force it over too much. I tried to throw it flat, slightly anhyzered flat, and it held flat pretty, pretty long. Alrighty, first little oinker was in there. Second little oinker's pretty far. Got it about 240-ish feet. I mean, I didn't like murder that disc. I didn't throw it as hard as I could, but it seems to be like with that kind of power, what I would get with most of my upshot discs, like a zone or something similar, it's definitely not as overstable. I brought out a Razor Claw 3 here, to test out, or Toro, not even close to that level, which makes sense. But somehow I gotta get in here and throw out. I got a little patent pending. Miss it? No. That's not good for a beating par. That's really not good, because we only have six total holes. I'm gonna have four that I need to get two birdies on. It's hard when you don't really have a lane in there. All right, let's just make some magic happen from circle three. Oh, that's not bad. It's a bogey. It's not what you like to see, folks. Not what you like to see. What you especially don't like to see when you are down a stroke and need two is a hole that you absolutely cannot reach because it's 345 feet with a pig. This does not make me happy about my chances of not losing this disc. All right, just gonna have to throw a really big shot, I guess. And now the wind is coming at us again. It's all right. Wow, 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 wow. I will say, I'm gonna throw my, my, my zone here, my Z zone. It's a little slick, but let's see if I can get a good move on it. 
it's pretty similar to the zone, except, yeah, it's, it's a pretty similar flight to that, that, that Z zone, which is a little bit beat in. I do like the rim profile better though. I think overall it does have a little less glide though. It seems like it finishes a little bit more dramatically or it just kind of drops to the ground after the end of its flight. So I would say that it's definitely, I don't know if it's one glide, maybe two, maybe the zone's four, I don't know, but it's definitely less glidey than the zone is. It's kind of interesting. Here's the zone, here's the pig. I mean, I never really throw the zone well off the tee. This Z zone, I do need to, every once I get a crystal flex or something. So I'm gonna try that out, I think. I like the zone, I put it back in my bag. I just don't like the Z zones, they feel so bad. Solid upshot, that definitely does have very low glide. Once it gets below speed, phew, it's dropped. I can definitely see where they're coming from with that super low glide number. That's definitely a positive if that's what you're looking for, especially if you don't like the feel of something like a Berg. I might, maybe should have brought the Berg out to test against this. Don't have it right now, it's still in the back of my van. I just need a couple birdies. We can make it happen. Next one looks like it's only 255. We can get it done. Okay, this course is doing me dirty. I'm playing this blind like I play most courses for these videos. And uh, it's another forehand line. So we're gonna try the flex forehand again. The problem with a one glide disc that needs to finish is that since it is only one glide, it just kind of drops, even though it might drop on this angle, instead of a disc that has more glide will kind of penetrate as it finishes. So I'm gonna have to throw this pretty solid 255 because I need birdies. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Go in the basket maybe? That's a little long. Let's go. Oh, that felt good coming out of the hand. Okay, maybe not a bird comparison because it is a three speed, so it will still go farther. This is kind of an interesting disc, especially for the way that it feels in your hand, which feels more like an understable disc normally, like a Mako 3, Mindbender, they all have that really rounded edge. This has that too, but I think with the thumb track, it makes it have the equivalent of a puddle top when it's flying through the air, and that makes it want to get to the ground more. And uh, I, really, I really like it. I really hope I didn't push it too far along. Oh no, where did it go? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Here we are. No, Anthony, make a freaking putt. Shoot, I like this disc. Okay, two holes left. And I need to birdie both of them. Otherwise, I have to give this disc away within the next three days. That sucks. All right, I did just look at the two holes that we have here. This one is 429 feet but a par four. So we can get a good shot out there into the fairway. Anything over that bush, I'm happy. We have a wind pushing us from the right to the left, so I'll take that into account. But as long as we can get it all the way down there in two and make a putt, hopefully, because it's an upshot disc within about 15 feet, the next hole is only 230 feet and it looks like backhand highs are out. Please let me be par. I know it's not up to you, but I'm asking you like it is. Don't get behind that tree. That's the one other place you don't want to be. Pretty solid distance on that throw though. Ooh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. We're not far from the basket, which is big. Maybe I should have thrown it shorter and give myself a guaranteed look. A little patent pending ish shot. Nope, gotta be on the knee. Drop, 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 drop. Mm. Didn't turn it nearly as much as I needed to. Didn't turn it at all, actually. It's not a far look though. Flip plays, come on. <sighs> ah. Sucks, man, this sucks so bad. As long as, I, well, I can ace this hole. If I don't ace it, I have to give it away. All right, it was absolutely my putting that has let me down so far. This says it's a par four on there. It's only 243 feet though, so I'm not gonna listen to it. <sighs> Just basically where that gap is down in those trees, finish on hyzer, you got a putt. I missed two inside of 25 foot putts today. Wow, Anthony, maybe I should have freaking putted with the pig. Maybe that would have been better. Get a little skippy? Little, little baby skip. Probably a freaking 25 foot look. I don't think it fits necessarily the zone slot. It does die a little bit more. It doesn't quite have enough glide or as much finish, which is a part of it having not as much glide. Really solid disc though, I'd say. Anthony. Make a putt. All right, we're one over on this video. Almost made it too by not looking at that, which is dumb because I for sure would have bagged this disc 
at least to try out against my zones because I really like the way that it feels in my hand. If you don't like how the zones feel, but you want a similar flight, not the same, check out a, check out a pig. And they're cheaper too. They're like 15 bucks a pop or something. Um, while I try to find someone who wants the pig, go ahead and watch my last Bad Getter Bennett video. Also pretty interesting. Pretty cool shots in that one. And maybe played and putted a little bit better. I don't know. I'm done. Of course I made that, come on. All right, we were just on the course and Greg noticed that I had the channel and so it's the perfect time to give away the stinking pig, which I wanted to put in my bag. I actually really like this disc, mm -hmm. uh, but I lost the challenge that I had to do in the video, so I had to give it away. So <laughs> well, fair it's enough. all you, man. I appreciate it, thank you. For sure, how's it going? Hey, you as well.